Okay, little little update on small scale, low budget um, off grid power systems. Uh, this is a continuation of actually a project that was started by a uh, well, yeah, a local kind of adventure type of guy. It's it's too dark to show much of the rest of this trailer, but the um, I he he sold it to me for kind of a good deal because it, it had some damage on it and. Um, and I had a power system that was based on a couple of six volt deep cycle batteries that uh, they, they had to be charged by usually the towing vehicle uh, but there was a way you could plug it into a wall, the wall charger type thing and what I did is I installed one of the low budget Harbor Freight solar panel kits because it was readily available okay and uh, the panels on the outside these Power controller boxes, uh, according to the literature, are limited to 5 amps. The panels supposedly produce 0.85 amps. So I, 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 you know, I did the math and figured out that adding one panel was, uh, you know, not going to overload this thing. Adding um, uh, an entire second kit was going to be a real close call for overloading this power box, according to the specifications. Now. What, what else I've been experiencing with the actual power output that I'm getting out of those panels, I, I think you could run one of these boxes with two panel kits because uh, it still runs a little weak with four panels. But if, if you don't have um, the wherewithal, the cargo space, you, you're not going to deal with a bunch of deep cycle batteries, um, there's two ways you can go with hooking this up to one of these box systems. On the back of this is a hookup to go to a battery which will allow both incoming and outgoing power on the box. Um, what I've done is the back of it's hooked up to two deep cycle 6 volt batteries which obviously are both reading 9.5 um, so it's what 4.25 on each battery or something. It's, it's pretty small because we've had a lot of overcast days and they're old batteries. Um, now to keep this thing topped off what happens is when the sun comes out and we're producing positive power and this thing gets over 12 volts then it automatically powers all these little outlets down here there's a USB plug that I can use for charging uh, you know AA and AAA batteries there's a bunch of adapters that came with it this little star adapter I can use as a step down converter for a lot of stuff. Um, there's a way you can charge cell phones off of that. And of course, you got a relatively universal cigarette letter plug. Now, I can daisy chain stuff from this box over to, let's say, the little refrigerator and, um, and keep all that running on kind of a short term basis. Um, in wintertime, this whole system falls apart because it's just not enough power production. In the summertime, when I'm, when I, tow this thing to a job site that I'm managing and and I'm around it a lot and I'm able to provide my own security and I just want to have some cooler stuff and and not be buying ice it works um, but uh, what I found was with the, the, the DeWalt 12 volt charger um, it takes a long time to top off one of those XRP batteries and um, I've, I've got uh, close to a dozen batteries According to my last inventory, although a couple might have been ripped off, uh, and like this one, uh, ha or one of these had some other dude's name on it, so you know sometimes they they end up switched with other people. I number them, I name them, I I I, I do a lot of these things, and and uh, they still end up my annual count, my biannual count ends up off, but. Um, yeah, what I found out was this system isn't really sufficient to keep, uh, you know, a full working set of batteries topped off with a 12 volt charger. It just takes too long. Um, but for some personal use stuff, it's okay. And um, the uh, uh, now there's a guy with a YouTube channel. I think it's called Solar Tool Shed. He manages to get one of these little boxes to charge a car battery to run a 2000 watt inverter like I have buried under all that shit and and he can run a 10 inch power saw okay um, I haven't been able to accomplish that but I, I think it's because I'm using deep cycle batteries instead of regular car batteries so you're doing something entirely valid if you get one of these little solar kits 
and you know a used refurbished uh, car battery on your on your bug out rig that's a spare and then you get a couple of these power boxes for your portable power that's that's legitimate it's low budget um, what you're looking at here plus the panels that are outside is is if you use the right coupons it's under 250 bucks but yeah it, it comes with all these little adapters and that's how you, um, you can get this thing to run with this thing and wh whether or not you've got a car battery on the system uh, what will happen at night is this thing's telling me the voltage of the batteries that it's permanently hooked up to this thing has a little gauge which tells me whether or not this got topped off during the day and according to the gauge it, even though this is only 9.5 volts that's because the deep cycle batteries aren't holding a charge very well but during the daytime when this thing was getting up the power it was um, yeah it, it got it, it's it's 13 volts it's happy okay so I could actually plug stuff into these cigarette letter outlets and get it to run fine. If I plug into this one because the little red lights on, it's uh, we're, we're not going to get any action. 